Today's video is revisiting a clay that I did a long time ago, back in 2008. On this particular one, I will start with the uh, modeling session I had with Michael Terry and some uh, Crow Indian models uh, over near Sheridan, Wyoming, uh, back in 2008. It, uh, and this is the pose that eventually became what was to be called Cheyenne Courtship. I changed the uh, design a little bit, uh, kept the dress that she was wearing, but changed the look that he had uh, because I felt like uh, I wanted to do something a little different than that. And uh, I wasn't certain that that was a Cheyenne shirt that he was wearing. It looked more like a Blackfoot shirt, but I could have been wrong. And uh, Michael Terry is the gentleman that's turning the uh, homemade turntable that I made and brought with me. And that's uh, uh, a beautiful pose, just an absolutely beautiful dress that she's wearing there. Eventually, I took these photographs and I turned them into a finished clay. And here is that clay uh, being seen before I took it to the foundry. This piece stood about, oh, probably 24 inches tall and took me uh, several months to do. As you can see, I changed the design of the uh, gentleman. He's blowing on the uh, flute and he's uh, wearing a blanket, uh, which um, if she accepts his courtship uh, playing or his uh, advances using the uh, flute, uh, they will wrap each other in that blanket that he's holding over his shoulder. That's a tradition of the Cheyenne. All right, now we go to the foundry and we start with the coloring of the bronze in 2010. You're just doing the skin tones right now, right? Yeah, I just even them up.
let's see, it's four, at what time is it? It's 4.35? We started at 9.15 this morning? Yeah, so that's close to 9.30, three, seven hours. That's not bad. We're not done, it'll, it'll be, by the time we're all done, it'll be eight hours. Yeah. Not bad yet. We got an ink oh. for lacket and... Uh, well, first I got a buff off and all these little things. When you get into the gallery, that's a, you don't want to find it. Oh, we could have done something with that. So we've got to do these doing is polishing the uh, brass tacks on her belt. Bronze has got a lot of uh, copper and uh, tin in it. And when you polish it, it looks almost like, uh, like brass. Well, he's uh, finished putting the uh, chemicals on it, and uh, now we're going to cool it down We're using a fan uh, so that we can put on the uh, Incrilac uh, finish on it, that's a kind of a varnish that uh, protects it uh, and seals it. Uh, you can actually put a bronze like this outside, that's what they put on outdoor bronze, this is ink for lack. Um, and then he'll put a coat of wax on top of that, is that right? Yep. And that dulls down the ink for lack because the ink for lack tends to be really shiny. But the colors are going to completely change when he puts that ink for lack on and some colors will get darker and some colors will get brighter. So, come back later. Down and I mean, dark stuff. This end 